So empties, huh? I haven't done an empties in a while. I think my last one was regarding January and February. February empties. And now I have a, a lot of them. Because my, my stuff just tends to end all at the same time. So I was like, me, I still don't have enough. I still don't have enough. And then in one week, I had a lot of stuff. So let's go and let's get into it. First of all, I have this Freezer Rays mask by John Frieda. I like this mask. It's not the best one I've ever used. It's cheap, sure. Uh, it's kind of diluted. I don't love it. But hey, it does a job of hydrating and of being a mask. I kind of use this as a conditioner most of the time, so I still have two uh, in stock to get through. But yeah, it's cheap, it smells nice, it's not life-changing, but hey, it's nice. If you don't have a lot of money to spend on a mask, this is a good investment. I also like the Pantene one really, really much, the hydrating Pantene one, so give and take. This one, it, it's not sold. Uh, freely in Portugal you have to order it online so at the end of the day just choose the convenience of what you want and then some nail files is this exciting I don't know I trash them with when they don't file anymore because what am I doing if they don't file anymore nothing and then the old run this is by the Luge. This is a Spanish brand. I bought it in Spain when I was on vacation in Algarve and yeah, it's decent. It's no big deal. It was really really cheap because hygiene products are really inexpensive in Spain compared to Portugal so I really take the chance to buy things like this deodorant because it's expensive here and I use deodorant every single day so deodorant, whatever, whatever. After that, I have this bad head. After that, I have this bad head control freak. This is an anti freeze product. This is for taming and defreezing your hair. I like this. This was discontinued since, so it's no point uh, for me to sing its glories because you can't actually get it anymore. So, yeah, whatever. And then this. <laughs> I'm sorry, this is frustrating. <laughs> this shower, shower gel by Chlorine. Uh, it's in the Oxygen Perfume, you can see it here, and it's a decent shower gel, it has really nice scents, if you're looking for a scented shower gel, this, this, range, this range by Pierre Fabre is really pleasant in general, it's not very expensive, it's sold in pharmacies, and it's not the best formulated hair gel, hair gel, what? Shower gel, that's what I mean, shower gel. It's not the best formulated shower gel, but it's decent, it does a job, it smells nice, it doesn't dry your skin too much compared to others, so if you're looking for something scented and pretty, go and give this a go because it's not expensive, it's very cheap, so yeah, that's my body in this. Yeah, I, I don't think I'm selling that enough, I guess, and this month, I've finished a lot of styling products. Usually styling, hair styling products are the hardest for me to finish because um, I do have a lot of hair but it's usually short and I don't wear them uh, that much product every single time so yeah. Then I finished also this one by Bedhead and it's called Uptight Heat Activated Curl Marker uh, and you're supposed to spray this before you curl your hair uh, with a curling iron or a straightening iron. I used it in both irons and it works. It kind of holds your curl in, etc. I think this was also discontinued, so once again, no point in talking about it. I'm sorry. Then this uh, body cream, which is one of my favorites, and this one. I really want to talk about it. This is usually limited edition at uh, Aldi supermarket and it's called Mildin Mad 10% Urea Body Cream. This is amazing. If you like greasy textures, which I do in the night, in the winter, it comes in a pot like this. It's lovely, really. It's not scented, so uh, if you don't, if you like scented products, you probably won't love this, but it has 
250 mil uh, and it's really inexpensive it's like five euros and it's one of the best creams you can find at a supermarket so if you have really dry skin give this one a go because it's lovely it's luscious for the price tag and if you got really dry skin give that one a go because you won't regret it trust me trust me on this and then um, I have this butter cloth by NYX that was in my handbag like this and then I was like I don't need this I don't need to live like this you know because this was like six euros and come on does anyone want to live like this with a drooling lip gloss all around I love this I'm really really sad this happened this is in the uh, this is an NYX butter gloss in apple strudel and I dropped it because I suck. And then <sighs> I'm so sad. I'm so so sad because you know I have to buy a new one because this is not living. This is something else, in my humble opinion. And then next we have these Tony Moly Pendant Pendant Dream Eye Patch. Tony Moly has just arrived in uh, Sephora here in Portugal and everyone's like oh my god it's so new and fun and awesome and it's like yeah it's fun and awesome but it's not new you could have ordered it from eBay like eons ago and yeah these patches are awesome I love them they're super cheap and they have awesome ingredients and I would probably buy them again 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 and again and again and again I bought five but I will buy more because they're amazing. Next, uh, wipes, white wipes from Primark and from Lidl. These ones are dry, so trash them. And I use these mainly to clean my hands when I'm doing my own makeup. So yeah, and then cotton buds also, you know, necessary when you're doing your makeup because I'm, I'm trashing everything on the floor. So that's why you're hearing me <laughs> trash everything. And then I'll go with a plastic bag, like a loser, like, oh no, <laughs> oh well, I have to clean this myself, because, you know, you have to clean your own stuff. And then one, by Bioderma, this is the Créoline Mask or Sensibio, if you live in Europe or anywhere else besides France. And they've discontinued this. I'm so pissed off, Bioderma. Why would you discontinue this? Why? This is the best mask ever. It's super hydrating. It's really simple. I love it when my skin is flared up, when I have uh, skin issues in general. This is really an awesome mask. I don't know why you would discontinue this. Why? I'm so pissed off, really. They discontinued this. I have one backup that I'm using right now, and then that's finito for me. So thanks a lot, Biodharma. I hate you. Just FYI. Then I've also finished serum. This is the Sampar Serum Vivid Radiant Serum in Francais. C'est Serum Beauté du Temps Raffermi Elisa. So uh, it firms and resurfaces and it's cool, it's nice, it's uh, no big deal. I bought this when Sampar was discontinued from Sephora Portugal. It's still sold in France and in some. French sites, it's a French brand, and it's, it's a nice antioxidant serum and to prevent some uh, aging signs. I like it, it's not my favorite, but I, I like it. Then, one that is actually uh, pretty gross, and I really did love it. Also, oh, another, another nail file. Uh, this is the Dermatic Hydrain B, uh, Hydrain 3. Hyaluro, Hyaluro, yeah, Ser hydrating serum. This is basically an hyaluronic acid serum. It's really cheap, it's really good, it smells lovely. It has, you can feel it actually plump your skin instead of just sitting there doing nothing. I really like the serum, I would definitely buy it again. I will definitely buy it again because they've reduced the prices in the Portuguese Dermatic site, so check it out if you're looking for an hydrating serum that is cheap and cheap and does a job. Not cheap, like cheap and does a job. So yeah, awesome, awesome product in my opinion. 
Then one that was sitting in my tub for way too long. This is Schwarzkopf BC Bonacure Hair Therapy Oil Miracle Finishing Treatment. Uh, it's silicone. Yeah, it's decent. It's decent. I don't hate it, but yeah, I don't love it enough to finish it all. So yeah. There you have it. Then I also finished this CoverGirl Lash Blast Volume. This is my favorite mascara in the whole world. I love this. This has a European equivalent in Max Factor. But I do adore this if you're looking for a volumizing, uh, slightly clumpy, yet separating mascara. Give this one a try because it's awesome. And then I've also finished this Deep Pant and All by Etat Pure. This is a, a brand by the same lab as Bioderma. I love this. I've talked about it so much in my blog, so yeah, that's that. And I've also finished a mini Kodali hand cream, which uh, was on my purse. I like this hand cream. It's not the best uh, for repairing your hands, so it's good to have it in your purse because it's small and it's compact, actually. So, uh, after that, I've also finished this uh, Ducre Ictien HD um, Crème Emollient, Emollient to Pousse Très Sèche ou Irrité. This is one I also use for when my skin is acting up and nothing else does a job. So, I always usually keep one of these tubes in my house. I actually don't have any right, right now. I probably should get one. Then I finished this sample of uh, Eau Efficace de Maquillon Doux by Sisley. This is a micellar, this was a micellar water and by Sisley, which is a very expensive brand. It's good, but it's not life changing enough for me to change my bioderma because this is really expensive and mine isn't. So, why would I change it? It's cool, but it's not, yeah, life changing, if you know what I mean. Another Panda's Dream by Tony Moly. I love this stuff, as you can see. Then I've also uh, decided to say bye bye to some stashes because because they've been here for too long and I'm just afraid of using them. Some are sunscreen, some are other stuff, and it's like meh, I'm not gonna risk it because they've been here for too long and my skin is just too frou frou. <laughs> Too freaked out, and I'm not gonna risk it. So all these sachets are going to the trash. So sorry, I love to use those, but yeah, that's it. Also finishing up some samples because, as I said, I'm trying to finish all my samples because samples are such a waste because most of the times you'll keep them and you think, ah, oh, when I travel, I'll use them. And then it will be one year, one year and a half, and then you'll use the most recent stuff, and then you'll have some expiring stuff. It's like, it's so wasteful to have samples lying around. Especially samples that aren't suited for you. So I, I don't know why companies do that. Why would you give me a sample if I can't use it? Why? Just why? That's so wasteful. Uh, this is Lancome Visionnaire um, Advanced Multi-Correcting Rich Cream. I love this. It's really scented, but it's really luscious. The, the, the texture, the ingredients are really nice. It's really expensive, so I wouldn't buy it. I wouldn't buy it because it's really simple in the end of the day. The ingredients are really simple, so I wouldn't buy it because of that. I'm sorry. That's my point of view. I prefer to buy other stuff, so yeah. Also, I finished a sample of these. Um, Marty Dan Alpha Peeling Ampoules. This is a sample size, but it's a real size too, so yeah. I love this. I really, really adore Marty Dan. I think it's the one of the best Spanish brands. Actually, most of the Spanish brands. <laughs> Pharmacy Spanish brands are awesome. Uh, they have these ampoules, which are really cool. Give them a go if you can. They're suited to each problem, problem specifically. These ones are for peeling at night, as they say, so... If you have a very lazy skin like I do that doesn't does clog very easily and you end up with clogged pores, this is a really really awesome product to try. Give it a go because it's lovely. Also, these two uh, Avon Anu Vital creams, which are rubbish in my opinion, I'm going to trash these samples because 
I didn't like them. They're not enough for my skin. So there's that. And then some nail polish that I've seen way too many days in their lives. First one, this one is actually finished. The Butter Hands Girl, so yeah. That's me. This is the A Home Nail Hardener Extra Strong. I've talked about this, this so, so, so much. This is my favorite nail hardener for me. It's the best one I've ever tried. And I've gotten so many people hooked on, on this because it's really, really a great product. You can, it's a Dutch brand. So uh, it's not widely available everywhere, but it's an amazing product. I really recommend if you're going to Holland or France or any country that sells a home that sells a Rome, uh, give it a go because it's an awesome, awesome product. Also, my SC Good to Go top coat has had its last <laughs> breath, so I'm going to trash it because it's too thick for me to use. Also, this Kiss Diamond uh, Hard Strengthen and Grow Strengthener. What? Strengthen and Grow I don't like this. This chips like nothing else, so trash. Then my base, which is called First Base Top Base Coat by First Base Top Coat. That would make sense. First Base <laughs> Base Coat by Essie. Uh, also, it's it's uh, at the end, so I can't I can't use it anymore. It's too uh, gloopy and thick, so trash. Another one. This is a not a not a nail polish. This is a um, toothpaste, a sample size toothpaste. I usually carry this in my handbag for me to wash my teeth every day because I'm a clean person. And then I have this. Uh, H&M nail polish that is really really old and I can't use it anymore because it has dried and then this Risqué uh, which is called Serenata and also same situation also this one by H&M same situation trash a sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara I have a review about this I hated it it's awful I'll, I'll explain why in the review I hate it personally there are people who love it Actually, you get the best lashes ever, but it, it just drops on your face and yeah, trash. This eyeliner by Essence is dry, so also trash with it. This was a limited edition, so no point in me talking about it. And also a sample of a body wash that is way too old to be here. And a pen of an eyeshadow uh, that was like a bone color eyeshadow that um, just finished up. This was why I still other and it was really ancient too so yeah. Also this brand I've received a lot of um, last actually this is the last product <sighs> this is the last product I have, I have here um, this is a K-Beauty brand it's called Dear by Emprani and this is a tone up cheese cream real cream, cream cheese texture and it's real really cream cheese texture really effed up in my opinion um, but all the products I've used from this line are lovely believe it or not I love the um, the foundations I've tried from this one of them that looks like mozzarella and the, the other one like cheese related to what's up with cheese and these people it's creepy stop it but the products are actually lovely so I'm really tempted to buy stuff from this brand let's see if it happens I'll show you in a haul if I do I hope you like this empties I I bubbled a lot this will be a long video because empties are always long with me so yeah I hope you like this and I hope you stick around for the next video so bye